Hey, it's Miss Kim, and I'm gonna be doing some STEM. I'm using a robot uh, today called a Hexbug Nano. That's H-E-X-B-U-G. And you can buy them on Target or Amazon. The pack of five is 20 bucks, so you can have it delivered or do the drive through pickup at Target. Um, just a really, really cool thing that you can use. And they use take batteries, so once they run out of batteries, you can just replace the batteries, which can also be bought at those places. So, this is a Hexbug right here. First, I'm gonna show you how to make it what's called an art bot. This is actually gonna move by itself. To this, you can add googly eyes, pipe cleaners, feathers, fabric, foil, whatever you want, and you could make it look like a robot that's going to draw a picture. In class, when I do this with my kids, I don't show them how this is put together. I just give them the cup, the markers, the rubber bands, and inevitably, within just a two or three minutes, one child at least will figure out how to put it together. The only thing I've usually had to help with is getting the rubber band around the cup, but that whole ingenuity of solving that problem, they got it. So I'm gonna turn on the robot and you'll see it's starting to draw. The size of your markers, the size of your cup, the tension on the rubber band, all of that will change the outcome of the drawing. So I don't know, can you see how it's drawing the red and the purple? The blue, it's kind of pivoting from that one. So let's see. So yeah. There you go. So you can do that. Um, also, I'm going to take the hex bug off the rubber band. And whatever. <laughs> nice mess. <laughs> so also using paper towel tubes, this is one that I cut in half to make like a half pipe. And this I use for a tunnel. The hex bug can do all sorts of really cool things. You can use Legos, blocks, magazines, cookie sheets, anything you have at home to create a maze for it. So one thing I love to teach the kids is that they can make tunnels. They can use these. So just a very basic, quick, simple illustration would be to create a maze like this, tissue box. Um, and what I can do is I can just put the hex bug in here and he is gonna crawl all the way up my half pipe, go through my tunnel, and there he is coming out the other side. The really cool thing about this is they can create all kinds of ramps. They can see how high they can make the incline of the ramp to what would be too high for him to go up on his own. Uh, what I usually do is I give them a tray and I give them blocks and they can create a maze for it to go through. It has to end up in a cup. These things will actually push like a ping pong ball or a wiffle ball or something like that. Um, so you could set up a goal post. I mean, when I talk about coding with the kids, usually they learn that the robot can't do anything without it moving. This is the same kind of concept, but this little guy will move however he wants. And it's kind of like reverse coding where they're coding where he can go. So as you can see, he is pretty fast. So that's why I use trays in the classroom because he just goes everywhere. So pack of five, 20 bucks, and you could do all kinds of things. Um, and then corporate simple machines. If you have a stairwell, you could put a piece of rope with a cup over it and do like a pulley to go up and down the stairs. So anything you could possibly want. So have fun and I will see you in the summer. Bye. Hey, Kim, do they come in big shapes and sizes? Yes, uh, thank you for asking. Hexbug has a whole line of all kinds of things that you can buy. These are just the nanos, which my kids used to have them in they are now in college. So they, this is the, still the same battery from back then actually. So they are super, super cool. Highly, highly recommend. And you can do them outside, inside, whatever. So have fun and I'll see you in the summer. Bye.